boy Blue Gadget again, and today I'll be talking about the new Magic Specter cards coming out in this set. Which name I forgot. I just know the PH stands for Phantom, but... Oh yeah, Phantom Nightmare. I'm kind of retarded. For realsies! Yeah, I like how I just remembered that. Anyways, let's get started. First off, we have Magic Specter Porcupine. And it's a wind spellcaster pendulum effect monster. Its pendulum scales are 2, it's level 4, and it has 1500 attack and 1500 defense. This first effect reads during the main phase. If you control the magic specter monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Nice. So basically, it just allows you to gain extra field presence, which is really nice in magic specters because all their spells and traps make it so you have to tribute a magic specter. Or I guess specifically a wind spellcaster monster. Second effect reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one magic specter spell in your graveyard, set it. And this card is really nice, especially when we get to the new spell card. And the third effect, which is standard on most, if not all, magic specters, is that it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, also cannot be targeted with card effects. Next, we have Magic Specter Draco, and it's a Wind Spellcaster Exceeds Pendulum Effect monster that, with a scale of 5, and it's level 4. It has 2,300 attack and 2,000 defense. Its Pendulum Effect reads, if you have yeah, if you have a Magic Specter or Draco Slayer card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can add one Magic Specter card from your deck to your hand, and you can destroy one card in your Pendulum Zone. Nice. Nice! Anyways, it requires two level 4 monsters, so it's generic. Its monster effect reads, if you control, if you, wait, if you can pendulum summon level 4s, you can pendulum summon this face-up card from your action deck. And on for its actual effects, its first effect reads, if, uh, if a monster is tributed while this card is on the field, you can attach one material from this card. So basically, you don't have to erase your field presence just so you can use your spells and traps, which is pretty nice. Also, special summon one level 6 or lower wind spellcaster monster from your deck. Basically opening the door for Kieran. Assuming Kieran ever gets unbanned. What the hell did you just say? Second effect reads, if this card is... If this card in the... Ma in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect or tributed, you can place it in your pendulum zones. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Next, we have Magic Specter Orthros, Nui, Nui, and it's a Wind Spellcaster Link effect monster with 1500 attack, and it has both of its arrows pointing bottom left and bottom right. And it requires two Pendulum Monsters, including a Magic Specter Monster. If this card is Link Summoned, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Magic Specter and Draco Slayer Monsters. Also, add up to two face-up pen Magic Specter Pendulum Monsters from your extra deck to your hand. Then you can add up to two Magic Specter Pendulum Monsters with different names from, e from each of uh, Names from each other deck, each other from your deck to your extra, to your extra deck face up. Yes, reading is very hard. For realsies. So basically, you can just retrieve some of your um, magic specters that were already in your face up extra deck. Basically, making it so you can pendulum summon without actually having to pendulum summon to this to this card's link zone. Link zone, no, link arrows. While also providing you with new Magic Specter cards that you, new Magic Specter monsters that you actually want to get to. And because this has two link arrows pointing downwards, you can basically just pendulum summon those two you just added to your extra deck, as well as the two you added to your hand. Nice. Next and lastly, we have Magic Specter Wind. And it's a very weird name because all the Magic Specter cards are very wind related. Like, they should have just called it Magic Specter Tailwind or something. Who the hell? Cash. It's a quick play spell, and its effect reads: Special summon one Magic Specter monster from your hand or graveyard, or if you tributed a monster at activation, you can special summon it from your deck instead. 
And the cool thing you can do is just summon your Yada and then use this to special summon your Bomboku and it, or I guess Raccoon and then use Raccoon to search the new one and then use the new one to basically set this card face down on your field again. Which again is pretty nice. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about these new Magic Spectre cards and it's been me your boy Blugetska and I'm out. Please!